guys. The way this came about is I'm sure like the rest of you, I spend my free time watching YouTube videos, <laughs> um, you know, kind of uh, scrolling out there and see what's going on. And I ran across this lady who did these landscapes on um, ceramic tiles. And I thought, well, that looks kind of fun. I want to try it. And I tried it and then I thought, but how does it relate to glass? Because, you know, everything is glass. Well, initially the ceramic tile has a glaze on it that's kind of glass, right? It's a glaze. And so uh, I thought, is that enough? No, that's not enough. So what I did, this was the last one I just did, was I did this sort of landscapey looking thing, but I put a piece of glass on it. Can you see that? Ooh, see that glass? Okay, so it's just a glass cabochon. And this was one of the first ones I attempted. And of course, all the colors of the rainbow, because you know, I can't decide, I love them all. I know you love, this was like the second one I made. Oh, I say second, um, first, second, third, but really, this was the very first one I made. What a disaster. Learned a lot from that. And my alcohol ink, purple, exploded. Which is why now I wear gloves. So what does it take to do this? First thing it takes, ceramic tiles. They're like 16 cents. You can get little ones. You can get big ones. We'll do a big one today so that you can see it um, a little better. And you can get uh, rectangular ones. I think it works really well on white. I like the white. Um, it just makes the colors brighter. You need alcohol inks. I bought these at Michael's because mine exploded. They were old enough that they exploded. And I like the alcohol blending solution that goes with the alcohol inks. Of course, you gotta pay for it, it's a little more. Um, but it definitely works different than my rubbing alcohol. I put some rubbing alcohol, this is 91%, in a little squeeze bottle that I got from my ceramic store. And I put some in a squirt bottle. And I tested those compared to this huge difference huge you want to remove it use the alcohol if you want to blend it use the blending solution so I'm glad I got the blending solution made a difference um this is a duster you know you buy these I got a three pack at Walmart for eleven dollars or something you'll see what what that does and why I like it a little brush maybe and then some sort of varnish and this I'll tell you right now this brand takes a while to dry maybe like four days. If you get the brush on though, it uh, doesn't have that propellant and it should dry much quicker, dry like normal. Krylon Crystal Clear will dry quick. Kumar, varnish from Krylon is nice too. Pledge Future is easy to apply with your finger and it levels itself because it's acrylic floor wax. Ooh, Pledge Future. Everybody got that one? That to me, that was a that was a very good like sales pitch. Now I want that one. And then if you want to incorporate glass into them, I just have little glass cabochons. Oops, lost one. Okay, but you know, little different sizes of cabochons. Let's take those out. Oh, and of course, Q-tips, right? Q-tips, and the Q-tips are for removing in particular areas. Let's get started. It's fairly quick once you get started. The stuff dries really fast. And the first thing you want to do is add the blending solution to the um, tile. And it just helps the ink flow really nicely. The alcohol inks. And that's the difference is the rubbing alcohol will remove the ink and the blending solution will mm, blend it, I guess, I guess. So you can just spray it on, you can drop it on, um, green and then blue, and you can do them separately or you can do them together. And look at it spray, oh, you know what, I'm gonna leave the lids off um, so they're easier to grab, but definitely, I know I'll get a color reaction, um, definitely uh, cover them up at, when you're done because they are alcohol and they will dry up. So I can make it move. It 
If I want it to move more though, I can do this. And that blending solution is going to sort of thin it out, but now I can add the color on top of that and it's sort of runnier. Um, let's do yellow. You can just go crazy with this. Really, there's, you can't go wrong. Now it's getting a little spotty. I'm not liking it. So, let's do it this way so you can see it. Oh, I like the yellow, though. But if you look right there, do you see that? You could make really neat, um... Um, like seaweed, if you put it down here and sprayed it up, you can make a really neat seaweed. It doesn't have to go this way. Maybe we decide that's a cool rock with with trees going up. So we can make this whole rocky side, and then maybe this is a beach side, or who knows? I mean, sky's the limit with this thing. I might just add um, some orange. And then All right, I don't know, you guys don't want to see me do this all day, but you get the idea, right? You can, this spray pushes it around, and you don't have to push it so hard that you get these sharp little lines, but I, you know, I kind of like them. Um, but it also dries the ink for the next color. If you want to blend them like up here, you wouldn't necessarily spray it. I am just taking 91% alcohol, rubbing alcohol. I can use my little applicator too, but I'm wetting a Q-tip. And I'm doing it over here because I don't want it to erase all the color in here. And what you do, if I wanted a tree, is you just start removing it because alcohol will remove alcohol inks. So you could add in a little tree. And I'll tell you, there's I put actual paint on here. I thought I'd try it. And I put some of this green and gold paint of course, it won't come off because it's paint. But the more you rub with a clean Q-tip, the more you'll get off. You get the idea. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's hard to work backwards, upside down. <laughs> you don't want to put your tree in the middle. It looks odd one third maybe about one third of the way i'm i'm a little less but you can see it's sort of taking up one third of it and the other two thirds is not taken up here's where you could add these little cabochon things sort of make a dichro tree do your own little artwork i waited for this to dry which what is a minute this is already dry um then i sprayed it with my sealer use your favorite sealer you've had a lot of suggestions and then, when this was dry, I used E6000 to put the dot on. So, this one could absolutely be saved. Absolutely. It's a little messy right now. Like I said, that purple just exploded. But um, when the purple exploded, it got on the edges, and I thought, well, I kind of like that. Oh, and Aftosa makes nice frames for tiles. Oh, my gosh. I love that. I love that. You know that piece I made with Look Ma No Stand? But remember I made this thing? So I was thinking instead of putting a pocket in there, like a photo pocket, if it was just flat and the right size, it could, it could hold, you know, a tile, make it a little bigger than the tile, and it could hold the tile as a frame. Um, so if you wanted an all glass frame, you could certainly make your frame with the Look Mono Sand um, slumping mold or Aftosa with a tile. I'm going to spray it. If I spray lightly, it'll push it without those fingers showing up. Yep. One thing I liked about this one was I put some green down here. This used to be all blue. And I put some green down here and just let, sort of let it drool in the corner. And then I used my finger and tapped it up the side to create sort of this tree or kind of a frame to the picture. Do you know what I mean? 
I just sort of framed it in on the sides. It could be seaweed, it could be a bush, it could be a tree, it could be a cliff, anything you want. And you can add some of your glass pieces, but it doesn't take a lot to do it. It doesn't take a lot of glass. People who are microwave uh, kiln fusers could certainly do this. You can use little pieces, add it to your tiles, um, and just have some really pretty pieces for very little money, very little effort. I hope you guys make some. I, the Pinata, Pinata, is that what it's called? Brand makes alcohol inks also in a different viscosity, and I love those. But I got them at the, um, I think it was Dick Blick Art Supply Store. And by the way, if you're a teacher, ask for the teacher's discount. And they come in a big pack. So anyway, it's easy. It's cheap. It's fun. So I'm signing off for now. I'll see you guys later. Bye.